Uh oh, Johnny Lane. Back in it, Johnny Lane. I think Nate's certainly been a, a phenomenal addition. You, you see, you know, the energy, the excitement, the spirit that Nate brings to the table. Um, Nate's one of those guys that has consistent energy. He's a guy that, again, you talk leadership to your captain, a guy that's fortunately had the opportunity to be able to coach and be, be understand what it means to shape the lives of young people and give back and make a difference. And uh, the thing that, that you've seen in just a month is you've seen our kids gravitate to them. And you've also seen Nate be able to really create relationships with the people around them. And I, I think that part, you're really excited. I, I said this when we hired Nate, and I'll say it again, Nate's got a really bright future in this profession, has the ability to do whatever he chooses to do. And, you know, again, uh, just another dynamic young guy to, to come into uh, to our family and to really our, our football program and have a chance to just make right, a continued mark let's go, on let's go, Iowa State let's football. Go, let's go, D-Pain. The staff is really close-knit. You've got a lot of guys that have worked uh, with each other for a lot of years. And so knowing, you know, Coach Golish, knowing Coach Hillman um, ha has helped that transition. You know, but my biggest thing in, in coming into this position was learning the culture. It was learning more about what this program was all about, what Coach Campbell was trying to establish. And, you know, that process has been great. I think one of the biggest reasons um, that Coach Campbell felt comfortable with me is that uh, we shared a lot of the same uh, priorities. We shared a lot of the same um, mentality in the way that we went about our business. So. Um, I think everyone that, that fits in this culture, you know, has to have a, a, a certain level of, you know, just work ethic and passion uh, about them or else it just won't work.